Hello, freak bitches. Well, isn't that the, 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 the definition of infinity? That somewhere, some if, if there is really an infinity, there is not only a you and an I, but there's a you and an I and everybody else we've ever met and all the exact events in the exact same order have gone down an infinite number of times, including this conversation. Okay, except. Except. Uh, um, there is, uh, I don't know how many people know this, but often it's mind-blowing when you learn that some infinities are bigger than others. <laughs> Well, Joe Rogan just leaned two feet away from the microphone. How does that, yeah, not all how, infinities are the same size. But if it's infinity, then it's infinity. It's well, infinite. What is well, no? Okay. Don't you remember when you were a kid? They said, "What's the biggest number?" You know, a million. Well, there's a million and one. Right. Okay. How about a billion? Well, there's a billion and one. The annoying kid right. always added one to. It. Okay. How about infinity? Well, infinity and one. Right. Okay. Well, it turns out infinity and one and infinity are the same number. Okay. So here's the so so for example. The number of of counting numbers, so one, two, three, up to infinity, okay? Right. The, the numbers you would use to count things, that's infinite. The number of irrational numbers, so the numbers that you cannot represent as a fraction, okay? Th that, there's more, th there are more of those than there are counting numbers. Whoa. By far. So these are orders of infinity. Then there are more there are more transcendental numbers than there are irrational numbers. What's a transcendental number? So that's a number that you'll never find as a solution to to an algebraic equation. So pi is a transcendental number, e is a transcendental these are these are magic numbers that show up in mathematics. And there's turns out there's like an even bigger infinity of those than there is of these other two classes of numbers. And they use the 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 um, the Hebrew letter Aleph uh, in 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 ranking. So it's Aleph one, Aleph two, Aleph three, Aleph four. I think there are five levels of infinity. So my point is um, just because there's infinite universes, to me, doesn't mean there's infinite conversations that have happened. And I'd want to really explore the depths of infinities before I say and agree with you that this conversation has happened a million, uh, you know, uh, an infinite. infinite number of times in just this way, except you have a different engineer sitting next to us. Uh, or And an infinite number of times where it's been Jamie, too, right? Yeah. The, in if principle, that, I mean, that's the argument that's that's given. But I think that we there's some nested infinities in there that deserve some explanation. My feeble brain is not handling this well. Well, that's that's fine. You know, <laughs> as I've said, as I say in the in the in the uh, e epigraph of, uh, uh, of of the book. Book is not available yet, but I have a copy. Ha ha! Astrophysicist for people in a hurry. Uh, astrophysics. Physics for people in a hurry. But you got to say it. Astrophysicist right. for people in a hurry. Here's you how you come say. over to their house. Hey, what's here's up? Here's how you say it's called <laughs> astrophysics for people in a hurry. Oh, you got to say it quick. You got to say because yeah, you're in a hurry. So, so the epig the epig the epigram on that is uh, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. That that's rational. And I, I've tweeted that, that before. And so it makes sense to you that the universe is under no obligation to make sense. Yes. So it's okay if your brain hurts when I say there's a ranking of infinities, but um, but you shouldn't say that doesn't make sense. Therefore, it is not true. I definitely wouldn't say that. But what what confuses me is the word infinity because I had always taken the word infinity to mean something that has no end. So how can something that has no end be larger than something else that has? So no the end? way they do that mathematically, <clears throat> the way to demonstrate that mathematically is you you map one item in the set of this infinity to corresponding items in the set of the other, other infinity. Mm. And so you do this. So you take the one and you map it to like the first transcendental number. Take the two to the second. You just keep doing this. And when you do that mathematically, what you find that one infinity outstrips the other infinity. Wow. And then you're left with more, with more numbers. So that shows you that you have a bigger infinity. <laughs>